no way we're losing this one. Nothing like the long game. You're not messing around. Yeah. Hmm. What's the plan? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! 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 Prepare to meet your maker. He is just ridiculous! Locks in our side. Does that 
feel better. Sorry to be a pain. Nothing like the long game. I cannot be defeated. Another step in the right direction. Hooray! I never expected to see a fountain like that in the middle of the desert. Me neither. Talk about decadent. Not that I mind a little luxury, but you can have too much of a good thing. Oof. There's been no expense in deck in this place, oh, that's for sure. Prince Castor! To what do we owe this inestimable pleasure?
<laughs> well, might I ask what brings you here, Your Highness? Princess Gloria was taking a tour of the city. I thought it would be rude not to offer to accompany her. Ah, the life of a prince is a hard one, is it not? But I am forgetting myself. Allow me to introduce Annie Hale. The rustic charms of her performing menagerie have been entertaining our clientele of late. You will have to forgive her abysmal manners. I found her wandering the wilds, and it seems her upbringing was far from civilized. <laughs> but tell me, Princess Gloria, how goes the search for the water crystal? We haven't found it yet, but we will. You can be sure of that. <laughs> oh, I do admire your optimism, but I can't help feeling that you'll never find it, no matter how hard you search. What would it take to convince you that it was not in Savalon, I wonder? An official edict to that effect from the Prince, perhaps? I doubt it. Not that I don't trust His Highness, of course, but I would prefer to confirm it for myself. After all, thieves have a habit of hiding things rather well, don't you find? <laughs> well then, far be it from me to hinder you in your search. But please, do take care. Now, if you'll excuse me, Well, no offense to our new friend, but I can't help thinking he's got something to hide. Bernard's story is certainly impressive. He built the gaming hall and earned himself a place on the Council of Elders, and all in the space of a few years. There were certain rumors, of course, but what newly made man is not dogged by the chatterings of the jealous. All the more reason to suspect him, says I. There's no smoke without fire. Maybe that minstrel can tell us something. Orpheus, was it? Couldn't hurt to ask. Is there anything you can tell us about him first, Gloria? Well, if I were being kind, I might describe him as committed to his craft. If I were feeling less generous, I'd say he was a raving egomaniac. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side. But that's good to know. We might be able to use it to our advantage. Let's track him down and see, shall we?
It's him. Orpheus, where are you going? Whoa, why are you trying to pin me down? I'm a seeker, man, a poet. I go where the muse takes me. Wherever the wind blows, whenever the spirit moves me, that's my destination, baby. Uh-huh. So, where are you going? Oh, I'm wasted on you, you know that. Anyway, I don't have to tell you anything. Ugh, you're impossible. Fine. I'm off to the sand-swept ruins to bring a certain very special story to an end. Go on, go running off to Bernard and tell him like I know you will. Okay. Jeez, I know better than anybody that a true artist needs dedicated fans, but why does Bernard keep the kid around? Loyalty's good and everything, but that kind of puppy dog stuff could really cramp a guy's style. Hmm? Well, look who it is. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, she's the tragic princess of a long lost land. And she cries a river while she stomps the sand. Will her crystal questing ever reach an end? Or will she die for duty here without a friend? Ooh, yeah. You gotta love the sad ones. That's a classic in the making and no mistake. Oh, hey, Princess Gloria. I didn't see you there. Listen, I've got a dash, but I'd love to talk to you sometime about what it feels like to lose an entire kingdom. It'd make one heck of a song. <laughs> he knew we were here. He certainly did. And judging by his song, he knows something about the crystals, too. Do you not get the feeling he's leading us a little by the nose? So what if he is? No harm in playing along, right? Then, when we get the chance, we turn the tables and squeeze him for everything he knows. Prince Custer, do you know the place he mentioned? Yes. The ruins are to the south of the city. I will lead the way. to safety. We'll deal with the monster. Th thank you. This must be the one-eyed creature that man was referring to. Well, its reign of terror is about to come to an end. This should be fun. Next, I wonder. <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to do something about this. Better cover up. Huh. I 
I shall prevail! All right, then. You are about to witness my true power! once told me that he too was attacked by an Araman while visiting these parts. King Orion himself came to his aid. That was the beginning of the close bond between our two kingdoms. Savalon was suffering from a severe drought at the time. My father offered to return the favor by trying to help solve the water shortage. And that was how the idea for a new network of waterways beneath the city was born. No way. The people of Savalon have always thought the Araman to be a harbinger of calamity. But that fortune smiles on whoever can defeat one. I guess things are looking up for us then. I certainly hope so. Now, let's get back to the city and make sure everyone got home safely. Thank the heavens. We have been so terribly worried. You saved my friend's life. How can we ever repay you? Oh, don't be silly. It was our pleasure. Forgive me, but are you Princess Gloria of Musa? I am, yes. Have we met somewhere before? Yes, Your Highness. About five years ago, you came to watch the soldiers practice their swordplay at the palace. I was among the ranks that day. Sword practice? Oh, yes. It was honor enough to be in your august presence, Your Highness. Little did I know that further honor awaited me. If I recall correctly, 
you were not content merely to watch and announced that you would participate. We soldiers were rather flustered. What if one of us were to injure a visiting royal? But you were not to be deterred, Your Highness. You strode out and immediately challenged the largest, strongest swordsman present and refused to back down. <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. A member of the royal line must be prepared to fight on the front line should circumstances require it. And any army would give its all with one such as you at its head, Your Highness. We will ensure that all know it was by your hand that the Arriman fell. We are forever in your debt. Yeah! Whoa! 
Let us continue on our way. We 
must make the most of this opportunity. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Here I go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 